Welcome back in. It's mid-morning on WKYT celebrating 40 years. The Central Kentucky Home and Garden Show officially opens this afternoon. It's always a lot of fun. It means yeah. spring is here. We're joined by Harry Rinker, the collector inspector from HGTV. Welcome. Glad to have you in here today. Well, I'm glad to be back, Lexington. I came down for the first time last time. I just drove in from Washington, D.C., where the cherry blossoms are in bloom. Oh, so it is beautiful spring. Time. It is spring. What a beautiful time. Well, Harry, of year. you know what I, I heard about why you're back? Because people loved you. <laughs> Do they? Well, that's yeah. fine. Well, you know, we're, we're providing an interesting service. If you have an appraiser come out to your house, it could cost you 175 to a couple hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. But if you only have a few family things, then coming to the Home and Garden Show makes a great deal of sense. You buy a ticket to the Home and Garden Show and you could bring in two items. But just for your listeners, here's a tip. We give you a ticket for two items, but then if you wait and go to the back line, you can do two more, and you oh. can do two more. So you can bring a whole bag in, actually. <laughs> so that's the way you can work the system a little bit. Well, that's right. And what is it like for you when you're working with somebody who's brought in an item like that? Are you kidding me? It's Christmas. I get to open up all these packages every day of my life. I mean, it's fabulous. But it's fun for me because what I'm seeing is primarily family things, things that have been from a parent. Or, heck, if you're as old as I am, they can be from your lifetime, and they probably have some value. But no, seriously, uh, we see a lot of family things, and I guess I'm especially excited when there's a great story attached to them, or if they don't know the story, that I can provide the story. Well, do you have to be pretty careful, though, when you're determining a true value of something uh, weighed against the fact that somebody may have a lot of uh, sentimental value they place. Well, I always tell people that sentimental and family value is an emotional value, but yet the most important one. I know when people say to me, well, Harry, if there's a fire in your house, what's the one thing you, you'll save? And, you know, my wife looks at me and says, take me, and I figure she can get out on her own. Uh, you know, I take a family thing over the most valuable thing I own monetarily because family is so critical. It's a big thing in the South, too. How often is it that you open up that package, as you said, and really find a real treasure? Well, I have, I, I maybe one in two, three hundred times. I mean, but again, treasure is in the stories. I, I, I mean, people say, what do we sell in my business? I say dreams and stories. Mm -hmm. uh, I've, from a monetary point of view, have I, I've seen 500,000 pieces, million dollar pieces walk through the door. I mean, I'm astonished every time I come. But I'm more likely to see pieces in the 25 to $500 range. But I don't really care. It's, it's mm -hmm. not about whether the object is worth a lot of money or not. It's whether the person cares yeah. about the object. I know you have a big interest in the vinyl, too, the, the records. Well, uh, I, have, I, have, I had once had 50,000 items in my collection, so there was a pile. Well, <laughs> I'd love to see your collection. Well, it's, it's your chance <laughs> to see Harry and many others at the Home and Garden Show uh, coming up uh, this afternoon from 2 until 8, and then tomorrow 10 until 8, and Sunday. 11 until 5 uh, down at uh, Rupp Arena and Heritage Hall. We'll be down there uh, tomorrow morning to see people as well, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Bring your there. stuff. Okay. Thank you. I will. What an offer. All right.